James, obviously, uh, lots changed, isn't it, in, in recent times? How's it now? I mean, we're week on, I suppose things have settled down a little bit. Um, yeah, it's obviously settled down. We've um, training's been quite positive and stuff, and obviously it was a uh, quite a shock for uh, what sort of happened last week. But um, we sort of got over it, got a good result at the weekend, and obviously disappointed Tuesday night. But I thought it was another decent performance. So, I mean, um, we just got to look to try and carry that on and look to get our league form good towards the end of the season now. Yeah, I mean the manager said that there's a lot to be positive about from that performance, is that what the message has been through the week? Yeah, I think so, I think we were obviously working on our shape and how we played and stuff, I thought we were quite good on the ball and um, especially first half I thought we probably probably could have gone in maybe a goal up ourselves rather than them being a goal up and um, probably didn't get as much opportunities in the second half as we would have liked but um, I thought we kept the ball well and, and passed it around and we caused them a few problems and we just got to look to take that those performances from that and from Saturday as well. If we can play like that, then I think we can get some results between now and the end of the season. Yeah, I guess when you're at the bottom of the table, towards the bottom of the table, those sort of results get highlighted more, don't they? Because because of the points that, that go missing, every point is crucial, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, especially against teams that are in and around us. Obviously, disappointed uh, to get beat by crew because um, we just almost dragged them sort of within a, within a point of us. Um, but I'm um, now where every point's vital and we got a let's say look to look to perform well and pick up as many points as we can, especially on the road. Yeah, and is the belief in the squad there that you can get out of this? Yeah, I think so. I think everyone's quite positive, um, especially since uh, the new manager's taken over. Everything's been really positive and we're just looking to, like I say, get as many points as we can. Yeah, and players like yourself with the experience, do you see uh, yourself perhaps as taking on a key role in times like this? Yeah, I think so. I think it's all it's up to each and every one of us to take a bit of extra responsibility and I, I know I feel that myself and to try and help the lads along and um, just be positive and just to, just to keep us going and to, to encourage and, and to do what I can to, to help the situation. Yeah, and then Doncaster next up, another tough game of course, they had a big win in the week, didn't they? Yeah, they had a really good result Tuesday night at 5-0 I think it was and um, it'd be a, it's a tough place to go and um, obviously my connections there will be one I'm quite looking forward to and um, hoping I can get a, a good result. Yeah, are you, do you still get a buzz going back to your former club? Yeah, yeah, no, I've had some really good times at, at Doncaster. I was there five years and mm. some enjoyable times and obviously uh, quite a lot of it was in the championship, so it was it was a really good time. And, um, yeah, no, but we, I've actually scored a couple of goals against Doncaster the last couple of years, so I'll look to hopefully keep that going if I can and um, hopefully get a, another good result. Yeah, do you celebrate those goals when you're against your former club? You're um, a player that doesn't like to do that. No, I haven't really celebrated too much, to be honest, uh, the previous couple of goals, but... Um, I'd say I might just look to, to try and get a good result and if I can get a goal, that'd be, that'd be a bonus. Yeah, it was opening day, wasn't it? Last meeting between these two sides, so a lot's changed for both teams since then. Yeah, I think there's been a lot, a lot of changes since then. We were, we were quite poor, I thought, on the day, uh, first game of the season. Um, disappointing result for us and lost 3-0. We've just got to look to try and turn that round and perform a lot better and hopefully get a positive result. Yeah, I guess it's uh, one of those stadiums, there's a lot of them around now, it's, it's a nice stadium to go and play. Yeah, it's a nice stadium, I'm um, not too sure what the pitch is like when we went there last year, it wasn't in great shape, but um, hopefully it'll be a bit better this year, but um, we can look to, try, look to go there, it is, it is a nice stadium, I'm sure there'll be a few fans there, so mm. it's uh, something the lads can be really positive about. Yeah, you mentioned the fans, I mean, how important is that from a player's point of view to know that those fans are there cheering you on. Yeah, definitely. I thought especially Saturday with all that's gone on in the in the week they were got right behind us and um it was really pleasing that we could get a, a win for them at home and um obviously we've got to literally just try and carry that on and because the fans have been right behind us, especially as I say lately and we just got to try and win for them and for us. Yeah, good luck, thank you very much. No problem. Um I know that you, know, you said last week was a was a shock, um, but has it helped having skill and Darren come in to you know a bit of continuity, perhaps a bit of? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. I mean, things as such have changed a bit, but um, yeah, they are familiar faces. We're used to their voices and stuff, and um, the stuff they're trying to emphasise is stuff we've all heard before. So it's not a total a total shock, and um, I think they're just are just trying to be a bit more positive and just to give us that little bit more of um, confidence about ourselves and look to show a bit more what we can do and um, I think we have showed that in the last two games we just got to look to, to carry that on. Um, I know that you, Terry coming back in, and uh, sorry Terry and Darren coming in, you're back, back in the team straight away, you must be pleased to be getting some more games on on you. Yeah definitely, it was um, a little bit obviously disappointing the last month or so, I haven't really played as much as I'd liked, although I'm obviously a senior pro and I'm not going to play every game but I'd like to play more than I have done. In, 
it is, it's a confidence boost for myself as well as everyone else. I think that he's put in the team, and like I say, I've, you know, I've started the last couple of games, and I'm hopefully done enough to to keep my place, and I'm looking to just push on and hopefully get a few goals. Um, we keep talking about Kiefer, you as a stride partner, and now Kiefer as a centre half. Is that something? <laughs> is, that, is that is that something you've seen previously in your career? Are you, um, he's clearly going. He's clearly, he's clearly done well alongside you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I have. I have actually seen it before. I'm, I've been playing with Steve Fletcher at Bournemouth. I've yeah. seen him play, play at centre half. Um, obviously, he's a, a striker, and he, he's played centre half a couple of times. And um, I thought he's actually adapted to the position really well. And uh, I think it can only bode for his um, his education in, in football. But, uh, like I say, I think wherever the manager sees fit, where he thinks he'll help us here, he'll play him there. But yeah, I think he's, he's, he's actually performed really well in the centre-half position.